He didn't report to the police station. He didn't report to the elders there. He was there. A lot of scary things are happening right now in Nigeria and most especially the waste of human lives. They don't even care about human lives anymore. Nobody cares about that. I can remember when I was much younger, you'll be advised to enter public transport instead of private vehicle. That is safer to enter public transport. But the news I'm getting right now is very, very scary. A 22-year-old lady known as Oluwabamishe Ayanwola got missing while returning to Ota from Aja where she was working as a fashion designer. This lady entered BRT, which is a public transport in Lagos, bus rapid transit, and she got missing. Nobody knows her whereabouts, and eventually when they saw her body, it was mutilated. Hi guys, you are watching M Chiki series. If you are a joining subscriber, thank you for your support. I quite appreciate that. It's good to have you around again. And if you are new to this channel, thank you for clicking on this video. Make yourself comfortable as we get right into this video. So on February 26th, a lady known as Bawoshe Anyangwola got missing on her way back to Ota because she works as a fashion designer at Chevron Estate at Aja. She normally spend her weekends at Ota Ogun State with her sister. So on this fateful day around 7 p.m. at Chevron bus stop, she boarded BRT bus with number 240257. And on her way to Oshodi, that was when the unfortunate incident happened. The lady sensed danger as the bus did not pick any other passenger at subsequent bus stop. So she had to engage her friends using voice notes on her phone. The voice note showed that the bus driver said he likes Oluwaba Mishé and asked her name and other details. She told her friend to pray for her as she became suspicious of the bus driver and in response, her friend told her to get off at Oworon Shoki bus stop before Oshodi bus stop. So Oluwa Bamiche sent a video to her friend showing how dark the bus was and said there were three men and one woman in the bus. The woman was sitting at the back. That's the number of the bus in case anything happens. So she asked her friend to pray for her and that was the last time they heard from her. And her lifeless body was later found lying on Kata Bridge by Ogogoro Community, Lagos Island. Upon the demise of Bamiche, Oluwa Bamiche, police now launched arrest and got the BRT driver, Andrew Nice who is 47 years old, who speaking about the alleged involvement in the lady's death, said to TVC News that he picked her up from Chevron and then picked other three men from Agidin. When they showed him their weapon, he wasn't himself anymore and fear came over him. Whatever the man with the gun told him to do, that was what he did. But I picked her from Chevron and I picked the other three guys at uh, Agidin. Okay. When those guys showed me the weapon, as I was saying, sir, I was kind of I can't be myself anymore. Fears have come in me. So whatever the man on gone, sit down there, whatever he told me, it's what I do. When I follow that cutter bridge, after they had to over high bridge, they ordered me to stop there. And when they ordered me to stop, so I should open the door. When I open the door, then they now track. When they come down, they now start dragging her down. When I saw she was crying for help, actually I'm helpless. So I was just thinking that she's inside the vehicle holding the iron. So you left her there? That's just the truth, sir. You left her there? I left her dancing. I never knew that they dragged her down already. What, so, what, what, is the, what is the connection between you and those three guys that you picked up? I have no connection with just a person. I have no connection with any one of them. I arrested her last night. How did they arrest you? Where I ran to was when the issue happened. Actually, he was arrested in Ogun State. This man's story is not adding up. She said that when she was crying, she thought she was holding on to the bar, that she was still inside the vehicle. And when this man now asked again, you left her there, he said that was just the truth. He left her there. It doesn't make sense to me. You thought she was inside the bus. And when you didn't hear her cry again, what did you do as a driver that really care if actually he cares? All those things is looking premeditated to me. Some people are also asking question, why didn't he report to the police? Why did he run away immediately he parked the vehicle? Otherwise, any same person will be able to take the report to the police. But before you knew it, another video surfaced online. That was when he was being interrogated after the incident. And he said that he did something. Tell me the truth. Uh -huh. She first accepted her from the bathroom. She was crying for her. She was crying for her. And everything was recorded. Because of dirty act I have done, it has to be like I am afraid. I don't return my friend. Because when I was 
to do that one and you never tell me. So when she so I'll ask of the no. left hand yeah, I run away. No, you are not. You are not saying 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 Wait, wait. If you had wait, 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 wait. You are not saying If that is what happened, people have spread the video around so that they can know their family will see her and look for her. See, see. You are not saying the truth. You are not saying the truth. I don't even talk to you. You are not saying the truth. I hope when I hear Ram, he said she forced herself out and everything was recorded because of dirty act he has done and other things he said. And now he has changed his story. Let them bring the CCTV footage. I hope Lagos State Government will be able to investigate this case. I'm just tired of Nigeria. Every time you hear such a thing, at the end of the day, we don't get to see the conclusion. Another one again. I hope there will be justice. And here is Bermiche's sister speaking to the press. Bermiche. I will try to be strong. Now, he said all this that it was an attack. Why did it he when he got to this to their terminal or whatever? Why did it he tell them there that ha ah, boss this is what happened to me? Oh. The lady oh, that is yet to drop out, this and that. He didn't report to the police station. He didn't report to the elders there. He was there. Now, he resumed back work on Monday. Please, oh, if this is an attack, according to what he said, why will he be able to sleep and resume back to work on Monday? Mr. Babajide Sorolu and President Muhammad Buhari, I have a request, please. There is a man we met at the terminal. When we met him, he told us he know Andrew Nice. There is a gentleman. He said he know him to the call. He never knew that I was videoing him while holding my phone. He said two things. He said he has tried his number. His number is not going. He has forgotten that he said so. He now said another thing again. That he called him and he said he's coming, that we soon get to the office. I have that evidence here. Maybe I should play it. Okay. He said Bamiche has gone to enjoy has said that she will cause that she know what to call us now because she was enjoying us. Why we fail when they were cutting a private part? They did not care before they cut a private part. If you are a lover to wrestling. There is one thing they call hell in the cell. Hell in the cell, that was what my sister went through. Before her last drink on her. I hope justice will be served. The Lagos State government, we do reinvestigation to be able to understand what really happened. Because my question is, why didn't he pick other passengers? Why did he cross other bus stops without picking other passengers? And again, the way he spoke in the first video and the way he spoke during TVC news is showing that a lot of things has happened. Probably some people are using this guy, and that's the reason why now his own narrative has changed. He's beginning to spin the whole story. It's no longer what he said initially when the incident happened that he's saying now. So people should be careful. From the look of things, some of these agents are positioned strategically to take people's lives, most especially women's lives. When you look deep down, you see that it's either ritual killings or other harvesting organs. You can't go past this too. But I wonder why human beings have turned themselves to devils that are here to hunt humans. If you know you want money, money making, like I've said before, you use yourself for the money making venture. Then for those people harvesting organs, why can't you give your own? You sell your own first before you start looking for whose organ to harvest. 
it is becoming very scary this time around each day that passes when i was much younger if you are going out they ask you to enter public transport you don't enter private transport which they call lift for this man to have the audacity to even use government vehicle it shows that a lot of things have gone wrong there are influential people behind these agents allegedly probably this is not the first time he has done it i believe that the driver is an accomplice he did this with other people allegedly because when he got back to the station he did not report to the police he was okay with what he saw he never bothered to go an extra mile to talk to police officers or go to police station just exactly the same thing the sister to the deceased lady said government transportation has become dead traps that's what is showing the impunity they have while executing this act is very alarming it's mind-blowing to say the least so let me know what you guys think i hope this young lady will get justice because Lagos state government they've come up with this their usual narrative this their letter whenever something happened they'll come up with this letter that says that they will help the person get justice but at the end of the day you see that justice is very difficult to have considering the chance of people a lot of people who are beyond the crime you see that justice it's not very easy. It's not a walk in the park. So let me know what you guys think. I'm going to sign off here. Stay healthy and safe. Remember to share this video with family and friends if you love it. And subscribe to this channel if you've not done already. And I'm going to catch you guys in my next video. Bye and remain blessed.